Hey, generic greetings fellow citizens of the internet, this is of course Richard, and today I bring you another episode on the OmniSlab server. Uh, as you can see, I'm here at Spot, and uh, that is CDF D-Man's recently completed uh, potion shop. So I'm going to quickly check this out while introducing what I'm going to do today, uh, which is going to be uh, an entirely new project. Uh, let's see, so he's got um, Swiftness. Oh, okay, so Swift, he's selling potions. Um, he wants leave payment in the open slots. Oh, okay, leave payment in the open slots in chest. Okay, that's straightforward enough. Uh, Swiftness 1, 6 for diamond, 3 for diamond for Swiftness 2, okay. Whew, a bit pricey, definitely a bit pricey. Uh, certainly for me, uh, but I am looking to rectify that, and that is today's project. Uh, what I am going to be working on today is I'm going to head out basically to parts unknown uh, in order to set up a mining base. I have basically nothing uh, at this stage on the server and I want to change that. Uh, actually uh, getting set up for this mining run, I um, actually Dino gave me three diamonds which was really generous of him. Um, I had to beg for the obsidian because I wanted to set up a portal but I also even had to beg for the <laughs> bloody flint and steel because uh, I could not find, for the life of me, I couldn't find even one iron anywhere. Oop, sapling. Oop. Uh, I could not find a single iron for bloody flint and steel, so I had to um, mooch off of the other kind folks on the server. Uh, but I'm hoping that this will change all that. I'm going to head off. Uh, everything around here has been strip mined pretty thoroughly, but I'm going to go off and find some place that will not have been. A uh, nice little scenic tour of this area of the server. You can see the um, villager breeder over there. Update on that. It appears to be solidly non-functional at this point. Uh, even after the jump start, no new villagers. Uh, we thought we saw new villagers, but really we were just looking up at it, thinking we were seeing two additional villagers on top of the five that are there. We were seeing seven, but really it was just the minecart and the villager up there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at this point. Uh, so the seven number... Uh, was misleading and there isn't actually anything going on there. Confirmed for useless, we're gonna have to try out other things. Uh, but you can see the witch farm and the trading hall. But I am going to continue on this way, uh, which I don't think I've really shown on camera. Uh, I built all this path, didn't really complete it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to try and walk it. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, thoroughly incomplete, but the, you know, structure is sort of there. What I think I'm going to do, hmm, how am I going to do this? Maybe I should just go around this way, because this terrain is pretty extreme. Uh, ooh, maybe I could cut through here. Somebody's explored it. Torches all over the place. What's over here? What's over here? What's over here? Exploring episode. This should be fun. Um, ah, okay. So over here it cuts to this, which is pretty nice. I'm basically just going to go someplace which looks pretty cool above ground. Uh, I know it's just going to be a mining base, it's just going to be below ground for the most part. It should be um, pretty boring. Yeah, that's, this is a cool place. I like it. Um, it should be, you know, actually pretty boring, but I, I kind of want to choose a cool location for it, just so that if someday I set up sort of a uh, base away from home at the location, I'll be able to have everything in one spot, and I'll be able to have the above ground thing look cool and so forth, you know. Uh, so that's the general idea. I'm probably going to go a little bit of a ways away. I'll follow this river for a while. Why not? Why not make going slightly easier than trying to hop my way over mountains, which is wildly impractical at best on Amplified. I love this terrain. I absolutely love the terrain. I cannot get over how much I... Absolutely, completely love the terrain. It's interesting, the um, river seems to be cutting underneath these um, structures here. That's very interesting, good to note. And it is producing floaty sand, floaty orange sand. I don't think I've ever seen floaty orange sand before. It's not truly floaty because if you remove the water, of course, the sand will fall. But it is certainly floaty in some regard, and so worthy of note. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what's over here. What's always always what's around the next bend that's the most interesting. Grass is always greener, and so forth and so on. I imagine this has all actually been, this has all actually probably been explored already uh, by various different people on the server. 
I imagine that I am merely retracing people's footsteps. But regardless, it's cool to soak in the sights for myself um, and sort of trace my own path to where I want to set up my mining base. I'm s sort of heading roughly... Oh, it's a Mesa Bryce. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize. Huh. Cool. Uh, but I'm sort of heading roughly west. Um, I wanted to say east, but I checked my coordinates first. I'm glad I did. Um, yeah, roughly west. Um, with some... Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Whoa! Yes, it is Mesa Bryce, isn't it? This is what Mesa Bryce does. Uh, this sort of thing. Uh, at least I believe that's my understanding. Uh, and of course amplified, uh, you know, it's difficult to tell. Uh, but especially on ordinary terrain, this would look far more dramatic by comparison. Single floating block of orange sand is always interesting to see. Uh, I say always, even though I have never actually seen one before now. Uh, that is to say, at least a lone single floaty block of sand similar to that. It's very cool. Um, so this looks pretty nice. It's just far enough away, but it's still reasonably close. Um, around... Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what coordinates spawn is at. Oh, look over there. Look over there. There's some cobblestone. Evidence of people having been here before me. Hmm. That looks cool. I want to set up a water drop from up there down into my mine. I think that's what I'm going to plan on doing. That might be just what inspires this whole affair. Uh, be quite the interesting challenge. Ooh, <laughs> it's not nearly as donut shaped as I thought it is, as I thought it was. Well, there's still one hole through. Still one hole through. Is that right here? I think that's right here. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Let me see if I can find where to put... Oh, there's more than one hole through. That's cool. Um, let me see if I can hop on up there. Get myself a better vantage point. Boop. Boop, doop, 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 doop. So I can maybe plan my mine around that. Could be cool. Okay, I need to go that way. And then... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, don't, 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 don't. By the way, I have um, Dino to thank for this sword. Uh, it is Sharpness 3 to replace the Knockback 2, uh, which Wreckabilly gave me. Which, unfortunately, burned in lava. Uh, I was being clumsy in the nether at one point. I didn't even accomplish anything. It was very sad and depressing. Uh, so, okay, so it's right here. Right here that I want to be. Um... Yeah, sure, why not? I'll I'll go for it. So it's gonna be here and here. But I'm gonna wanna dig my way down. Wanna mark this with some torches and get the place lit up a bit so that it isn't nearly as dangerous. Because it is certainly dangerous at the moment. In fact I could definitely pick a better location, but it's gonna be cool. It's gonna look neat. That's the important thing, right folks? Definitely look cool, um, and I'll find clever ways of lighting it up eventually, if it comes to that. Uh, I may even end up making this be primarily nether access. Uh, I might give up entirely on trying to make the surface anything more than it is. I don't know, we'll see. We shall definitely, certainly see. For now, I'm going to block it off because nighttime is fast approaching. I need to eat. I always forget to eat, which is a very bad habit to get into in Minecraft. Um, waste of food. Uh, and I guess I will just begin my descent down. What am I at? I'm at 80. Good gracious. This <laughs> I love being on Amplified, but good gracious, it's high. I could set up my own clay mine, actually. That would be a good idea. I can set it up in here and have my own stash of clay. That could be cool. Um, this is most likely going to get rather dull rather quickly. I'm not sure... Oh, I'm probably going to want to log anyway for their sake. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make myself another um, stone pick. 
and get down to Bedrock Log for them and be right back with you once I've made a little bit of progress and got my mind started. Alrighty, so I've carved my way down, placed a ladder, hit a cave, grabbed just a little bit of coal on my way down to continue torches as I am down to two, um, and hollowed out this little area as you can see. On the right track already, got at least two veins of redstone right here that I can, of course, not mine at the moment. I haven't yet decided whether I'm going to make a diamond pick right now or save up for an enchanting table. Uh, I think I might just do the latter, but then again, I'm going to need the obsidian for a portal. Um, I might just skip the portal because I'm so close to home anyway. I'm not sure. Haven't quite decided. Um... But then I'm gonna need to make another diamond pick. Basically, I'm... Oh well, uh, one way or another, uh... Mm, I guess a diamond pick would be more useful in the short term. And then I can either use one of the communal, uh... Yeah, I could just use one of the communal, uh, thing gummies. so... Uh, ready this, yeah! Kaboom, kablam, kushing. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so I guess I can go ahead and mine the... Actually, no, 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 I'm going to wait now. Um, actually, I'm just realizing that the the witch farm does redstone. <laughs> so this is actually kind of useless. Although it would be nice, it's always nice to have more redstone. That's definitely true. Um, I think I'm going to save it until I have fortune, though. Um, so that I get the most bang for my buck. Uh, one way or another. So let me quickly make myself a chest to drop some unnecessary things off in. I don't really need the obsidian and the flint and steel at this point, although I may as well make the portal uh, sooner than later. I can drop all that off. I'm not going to be needing this cobble. I'm probably going to need a cobble chest before all too long. Um, pretty much, I'm more or less ready to go. I think... How am I gonna set this up? Managed to get myself down to level 12, which is what I'm probably gonna mine at. Ah, that's lapis. It's always good. It's nice to see. Ah, hello there. Um, I could use blocks on my bar, actually. That's something I should be paying attention to. Uh, and that is a cave plus water. I do not like that combination. Um, really don't like that combination. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? That's... that didn't accomplish anything. <laughs> I'm... I don't know what I hope to accomplish there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. What should I do here? How should I... No, that's... that's just gonna do that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go around, maybe? I think there was more water around, but, uh, you know. How much water is there? there? There can only be so much water. Um, 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 close off, just so I can think. Uh, nothing drop in on my head, please. Please and thank you. Alrighty, okay, so that looks... Is this... Please tell me that this is not a... I think it might be. Yeah, it's a ravine. <laughs> of course it is. So I'm gonna need a lot more torches. Oh, I'm gonna need torches anyway. Hmm. Looks like it might have been lit up, though. Unless it's lava. It's probably lava. Mm hmm? Yeah, it's lava. Okay, so that's a... This is a fun little sort of challenge thing, which I'm probably not going to tackle at the moment, because I do not feel up to it. I feel incredibly insignificant in my uh, tiny, frail, squishy body um, that currently has zero armor value whatsoever. Uh, I will grab this iron, though. That's not bad. Again, with my, um, <laughs> downright impractical level of, um, I must get everything that I can out of everything and squeeze everything out of everything. I'm actually not going to mine this lapis just yet. Again, until I get fortune. Uh, <laughs> uh, but so yeah, I think I'm going to, what am I, how am I going to do this? You know what, I think I will just mine off in this direction. It seemed pretty clear. This is actually back towards spawn, if I'm thinking about it right. No, it's not, is it? I can't remember that so yeah I think it's away from spawn actually uh, but it should also be away from that um, bloody ravine uh, so I'll branch this way 
I'll, I'll head off this way and then I'll make branches out this way like every two blocks uh, so I'll make one branch say mm, actually there why not I'll branch off there then branch off here so skip two blocks and then there skip two blocks and then there yeah straightforward you got it basically you're straightforward branch mining because I need resources and so forth and so on so I'll go at this for just a bit come back with you when I have results and resources and so forth I'll avoid caving so I promise it will be boring and you won't care to watch it so I'll be back hopefully with something to show for it preferably diamonds it's not been that long but it's been long enough for me to reevaluate the situation and rethink things. Uh, it, it hasn't been that short of a time. I've gone all the way that way, uh, or at least a good, good long chunk of a way, and so forth. Um, I've realized that I just really, really don't like mining and caving and everything. Like, and I, I, I'd remembered the fun aspects of like, oh wow, cool, I found something, and like, you know, I found diamonds, it's great, it's awesome, and I've forgotten the whole part where you go 20 blocks and then there's a cave, and you try and go 20 blocks in the other direction, there's a cave, and you hit a cave there, a cave there, and there are angry mobs all over the place that want to eat your face, and I'm just not that kind of player, I don't like, I don't like dealing with that kind of thing, I really don't, uh, maybe when I'm totally geared up to the teeth, uh, and I can tank creeper blasts and that kind of thing whenever I feel like. Like then might be a different story, but at the moment, I'm really not feeling it. <laughs> and it's very dangerous. There's lava everywhere. It's terrible. It's just sad times waiting to happen. Um, so I'm smelting up some of the iron that I got. Most of the iron that I got, I did not get much. Um, and I, I was also realizing that like. With all this, like, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm not even collecting the stuff that I'm finding. I'm waiting on it. So I'm like, my, my, my sense of, I can't mine this yet. I don't have Fortune 3. I won't be getting enough. I won't be getting the, my, my bang for my buck. I'll be wasting resources. Uh, it's just driving me to, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give up on this. I'm done, guys. I'm just done. Um... So I'm, I'm going to find a different project. I'm sure that I'll come back to this at some point. I got some of what I wanted, and I, I imagine I'll be back down here for iron, at least from time to time, uh, as I need iron. That's going to be the main thing. Until the iron trench or whatever, um, the foundry, uh, whatever Diana is building, until that's done, in which case I probably will be done with mining, at least for the most part. Because uh, by then I'll also probably have villagers, we'll be able to get villager trading set up, and that'll basically give me whatever I want. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of mining on this server in general. Uh, and what I do need, uh, I was actually just talking with CDFD man in chat, and um, I'm thinking I might want to establish some kind of barter system or something in order to cheese the economy of the server in my favor and get myself some goodies that way. Uh, so I don't have to actually worry about any of this nonsense. Uh, so let me actually grab the flint and steel and the obsidian again. I'll bring it back to my base and maybe put it to a different use. May as well grab that. Heck, I'll grab everything. I'm just going to loot the place for now. I'll leave the chest, actually, because I might use it in the future. Uh, but this will remain pretty much as it is, I think. Uh, just until I come back and need iron. But even that I might try to trade for or something. I don't know, we'll see. I'll figure it out. Right now, I think, however, I am going to, um, well, I guess check how long, how much footage I've, up, um, I've, uh, recorded so far. Uh, I don't think it'll be that much, but I better check to be safe. Um, and depending on that, I may well get started on another project, which I have been considering for a while. Of course it's nighttime! Why would it be anything other than nighttime? Oh, that would make it easy. Oh, well. Um, hmm. Cover this up. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, mark it a bit. Should be good. And I'll make my way back to spawn in the very dangerous conditions that are nighttime in the amplified mesa. Ah, uh, here it is. The focal point of the server. Stone slab, 
of potential. There it is, right there. Hasn't moved since it was been since it was been placed. Yes, since it was been placed since it was placed at the beginning of the server, which wasn't all that long ago. But you know, um, that needs to get torn down. That needs to get finished. But that'll probably get torn down first. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but my point here, what the, what I'm doing here specifically, is there. I want to do something. I want to do something spectacular. I want to make it amazing. Uh, but first, I need to do some planning. Uh, and so this is going to be the council building. It's going to be sort of a Hall of Elders sort of style thing. Uh, but I, I've got a general idea of what I want to do with it. And the way I've been considering it, uh, it'll play a big role in the whole <laughs> tongue-in-cheek initiation nonsense that we always pull on people. Ah, uh, what's up with CDF? What's he doing? Hang on, let me get to a safe spot and I will ask him what's up. Do -do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get to the top here, I think. It's going to take some time, but... Eh. Oh, and I also want to... Um, dupe options... Vidu settings, clouds on. I'm playing with clouds off for the most part, just because um, they kind of get in the way of the view in a really big way. But I want to check out some aesthetics and so forth. So I'm gonna ch check out where they where the level is. Okay, so it's so it's more or less more or less right about there. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> looks pretty cool from up here. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Yeah, clouds are definitely annoying. Um, but okay. I'm sort of thinking that it might be cool to build the thing uh, with the cloud level, like, right at your, sort of your feet level. Uh, so that your feet are at cloud level. Let me sort of... <laughs> okay, okay. I don't really want to build with cobble up here, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Soup. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Didn't really see this from over there. It's interesting to see. Okay. Uh, so what's cloud level? I'm like eye level right now. It's cloud level. So I'm just above cloud level here. Maybe one higher? I can't tell. Hmm... Well, we can always lower... Actually, you know what? We can always raise the floor. I'll, I'll build it here for now. And then we can raise it if it if the clouds get obtrusive. I'm not planning on playing with clouds on, but it's just if people have clouds on, we want to make it look cool. If we can. Uh, so is this centered? Where is it going to be centered? It's going to be centered right around here, right? Yeah, something like... Oh, right here, actually, it looks like. Be centered with the slab. Um, so that'd be, let me just sort of mark it a little bit, um, then bring the rest of this across. If a cloud comes through here, I'll get something of a confirmation of all of this sort of thing. I'm kind of hoping that one does. This is interesting. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, I didn't really see it from over there. Ooh, Wreckability's in a bad spot. Need any assistance? at all <laughs> with a backslash um, actually at this point maybe I'll like that's more or less where I want the entrance to be I think and there will be a nice um, sort of sloping bridge uh, with a nice set of archways and so forth underneath that will bridge around or like you know up to that whoa 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 okay okay so far so good can I get up here? Is it going to be a possibility? Um, the coordinates that we were not supposed to pass, I believe were... Hang on, actually, let me, let me go ahead and F3 myself. It would be Z1456. Right? As I recall... 
I could just go over there and check, but that would actually be something of a pain in the neck. We'll do that in a minute if necessary. Uh, but for now, is there a good way to get up? Is there a good way at all to get up here? Looks like there's a dirt tower over here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, that actually looks pretty much just what I wanted. Okay, so that level should be good for the uh, cloud effect. That should be cool. Let me see if I can just sort of pillar my way up here quickly without wasting too much more time. Uh, I lied, I didn't actually check the video time, so <laughs> I'm not sure how long this is running. And again, I am going to make something of an effort to put out somewhat shorter and more accessible videos. But for now at least, I'm just going to roll with this. Uh, so let's see, how what have I got for terrain up here? This is going to be a big long hall that's... Oh, that looks cool from up here. Wow. <laughs> that's Rekabilly's inverted sky temple thing. It looks really cool. Uh, but So I'm going to have it come back quite a ways. Uh, there's going to be a, you know, series of big halls. But I want it to eventually open up into a nice big open air sort of area. We might even end up needing to push the boundaries just to get this effect, which I wouldn't be too heartbroken about. If we're pushing the land of slabs this way, we could push the boundary as well. Um, though I would want to talk with people before doing that, of course. This is some cool terrain over here, actually. I haven't seen this before. Actually, people not e might not even have been out oh. this direction. Not sure. Uh, let me see if I can find a way up there. I'll waste a bit more time in doing so, I imagine. If I have to, I will carve through an entire mountain and, like, bore my way down to a nice central sort of... Uh, I, I want basically like a um, a nice courtyard sort of area uh, that sort of looks like it's in the center of a monastery or some kind of similar interesting nonsense. Um, and to get that aesthetic, I would need an area that is open to the sky, obviously. So that's sort of what I'm scouting for. Uh, but it looks like it continues to go up here, which is less than convenient. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, this is cool. This is rather neat. Oh! Oh, that looks promising. Mm, doesn't go down that that far, but uh, it might be good enough. And I could definitely work with it. I could bring that down further in like a circular shape and cut away some of these mountains here. Yeah, this would, do this would be doable. This would definitely be doable. Um, I am straying really near the established boundary right now, uh, about 50 blocks away. But that would actually be about right, and this is a good long walk, but it's not that long. Wait, what was the what was the y or what was the x value? I can't remember what the x value was. Should try and line that up and make sure it's centered. Um, but is Recommendly Sky Temple centered over the slab? It must be. There's no way I would have let him get away with that otherwise. <laughs> um, that's sort of what I'm planning. I might just get to work lining some of this up, although I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do without, um, <laughs> Mr. Economist, such a silly person. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do without, you know, massive excavation work and so forth. Uh, but we'll see. I think clouds need to go off again. This is bugging me. <laughs> uh, whoop-a-doo, clouds off. Huzzah, indeed. Okay. So, where was it? It was here? Is that it? That looks like it. Yeah, that should be it. Um, lines up with... Yeah, that looks right. So, right here, which is 712. Okay. Where... So, I, I, I think I'm going to cut here. I think that's the most interesting bit for a while. It's going to come down to hollowing out a bunch of terrain and so forth, cutting through, figuring out how things are going to line up, and that kind of thing. Um, but that... I well, yeah, I'll go and check the... I'll, I'll actually check the video footage this time. I imagine that's the end of the episode, but I will be back in just a moment to confirm. So, yes, indeed, as suspected... Uh, I am, in fact, running quite a bit long, uh, certainly longer than I am <laughs> shooting to make episodes in the future, 
Uh, so definitely look forward to that in the future because I have failed this time does not mean that I will fail all the time. Uh, one can hope. Uh, but I think that is going to be pretty much it for this time. I'm going to sign off and encourage you to check out more of my videos, so forth and so on. Look forward to more coming out uh, very soon. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> on my schedule, which is unreliable at best, admittedly, but on a schedule of some sort, not really... Whatever, I'll stop talking now and let you get on to watching other videos or whatever it is that you are going off to do. Um, maybe I'll tackle lighting spawn as well. <laughs> Another project that really kind of needs to get tackled. Uh, but I will see you all guys next time, sorts of things, and so forth and so on. Later and in another video.